G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Wednesday evening here in Australia. Marcus, Marcus, <laughs> market, sorry, up ever so slightly. So 2.6 trillion up from the 2.5, I think 9 we got down to. Still not above the 2.7 trillion and definitely not over that $3 trillion mark that we were about a week ago. Excuse me. All right, again, the market's looking pretty nice considering we're up 1.9%, couple of losses. There's always going to be, you know, the outliers that are doing the opposite to what the general market sort of sentiment is doing. So volume, we got a little bit there, which is nice. People are buying the dip. Uh, my prices haven't been touched. Uh, we'll have a look at that. They kept getting so close. Excuse me, so I've actually had to up my buy limits. Now, knowing my luck, now that I've upped them, I get the feeling like maybe Friday there might be one final dip that'll push down and we'll have a look at exactly where they can go. But that may not happen as well. So I'm still happy with where my buy limits are. They're not, you know, exactly high, but they're just not as low as what they were before. And like I said, knowing, you know, knowing my luck sometimes, Friday, I reckon they would have touched them and I'll have bought them for a little bit more. But there's not a huge difference. Anyway, moving on. Bitcoin price, about $56,500. Again, still way down from the $69,000 it got to. We're nearly at seventy. dollars Gas price is actually quite cheap at the moment. Well, actually, <laughs> not quite cheap, but cheap compared to where they've been. They are still expensive, and that's still an issue. All right, what's done the best in the last 24 hours? All right, Zcash making a nice move again. There's the talk of them. Well, not the talk. They are moving from proof of work to proof of stake. Sandbox firing up. Audius, of course. I, I've still got Audius. I've staked some Audius, but I had other Audius that was just sitting there. Nothing was happening. So I ended up uh, cashing it in for Aave. And what do you know? Audius starts to make a move. So we'll just have to wait and see how how Aave does. I'm sure it's going to pump really hard, but it is way down at the moment, and I showed you that the other day. Now, look, Engine doing quite well. I mean, that's just been pumping for ages, so very nice. Matic making a bit of a move, which is nice, 14.5%, but look, it's still down from like the $2.20 something that was at a while ago, but lots of nice double-digit moves, and this was this is from simply 1.9% move. All right, flip side of the coin, though. Look at Sandbox still going. What hasn't performed well in the last 24 hours? All right, Eagle down, AVAC, Shiba Inu, look, continues to go lower, Voyager down. Again, a lot of coins that have already been pumping, but uh, Cardano way down from the $2 something. So again, it is at a massive discount. I'm not saying rush out and buy it. I'm not saying don't buy it either. I'm saying get out and have a look. Like I was talking about Aave before, it is at a super low level in comparison to Ethereum. Now, not so much the dollar. It's been ranging around that kind of sort of 300-ish dollar level. It's got above, it's got below, and 261 at the moment. Again, like I said, I'm buying Aave at the moment. And I was buying, oh God, Polygon, that's it. And I probably still will because it's still down, but it has made a bit of a move. All right, let's have a look at the Bitcoin charts again. So I had to move my buy price because I was way sort of down around about sort of here is about where my buy price was. And it just wasn't getting there. It was, again, it was a little bit low. It's probably down around about here. And it just kept missing. So 55 thousand I think sort of 500 something like that and it kept missing so I've moved it up a little bit now it hasn't been triggered yet it's probably very close again but like I said knowing my luck Friday I wouldn't be surprised now what I find interesting is the 0.618 fib retracement level is sitting at that 50 kind of three fifty four thousand dollar mark 53 and a half let's say well let's go 53,600 just to be on the safe side I'm not going to be surprised if sort of come Friday morning we do get something that pushes it all the way down. Like I said before, the options end for the end of the month. Could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see. But again, I just kept missing my buy orders. So I have moved them and we can see the Bollinger Bands uh, starting to move down. And look, also the 50-day moving average is actually acting as resistance at the moment, not support. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Again, I'm not expecting any big bearish movement. But I just get the feeling like, you know, come sort of Friday, the last Friday of the month, I'm not going to be surprised if it doesn't get pushed down just a little bit further. And again, it all just marries up, you know. The fib, the golden, you know, sort of ratio, the 0 0.618, whew, 
that marries up almost perfectly again with that support and resistance so i think some buy orders down there will be pretty good i may have to put another buy order in put some more money back onto my coin spot account and have uh, a buy order down here we'll have to wait and see right ethereum where are we at now ethereum oh it's been using the 50 day average as support now i had my buy-in orders down around about here and like i said it was just missing twice it was so close so i've actually had to push my buy order up it's now starting to make its way back up but look what we have seen so far is it rolled over but this could be a very nice w so this could be something like this we come down we come up we come down and then we just start to rock it up so it could be something like that i'm not saying that's what's going to happen nice w pattern there they're usually quite bullish but this could easily be invalidated because this is rolling over already so we'll have to wait and see it's still early in the morning stateside time anything can happen that can turn into a green candle but at the moment that's right i'll just leave that there this still could turn into be a w which could be quite a bullish thing we'll have to wait and see right just a couple of stories i want to focus on so ripple and the republic of palau have partnered to create a digital currency now they are going to work on a government-backed usd pegged stable coin so uh, palau they do not want to adopt xrp or any cryptocurrency as legal tender but they do want a digital basically us dollar and they want ripple to design it so not exactly how it's in, well i suppose depending on how you take it ripple is not being adopted as currency they're just going to develop the stable coin for palau and palau is a, a beautiful little uh, country in the pacific uh, you should definitely look it up it's a place that i really want to go there is a lake a sort of i don't i think it's freshwater lake now but anyway there's a lake with all these jellyfish that live in it they've been blocked off from the sea for a long time i think then uh they don't sting you but anyway an amazing place go check it out but very interesting that again ripple they just keep making partnerships maybe not for xrp as such at the moment but they are still out there and look we can even move on and look this is worrying in a way ripple expects se lawsuit over xrp to conclude next year i mean there's been a lot of talk about it going to be concluded this year but now they're saying next year and not exactly when and yeah they're saying we're seeing pretty good progress but i mean this has been dragging on forever and you know will this end before the end of the bull run you know again depending on what you think is going to happen you know a lot of people still you know think that the bull run has to kind of you know basically hit its crescendo its peak uh in december sort of maybe early january but look at the moment it's just not looking like it doesn't mean it can't happen we'll have to wait and see but even more sort of xrp news not exactly xrp but related so flare have partnered with enterprise gaming platform rival to become its preferred token platform so it says down here platform users will be rewarded with flares songbird and flare tokens for gameplay and achievements they'll be granted access access excuse me to the bitfrost wallets native uh bitfrost wallets which is native to flare and songbird for accessing their rewards god i'm struggling with the language again today which can be traded in for ticketing game passes nfts and branded client merchandise so a lot of sort of stuff happening in that ripple kind of space at the moment just you know not really the news that we want but at least some news and you know we're still waiting on the flare airdrop whenever that may finally come but i've got the songbird and hopefully you have and i've been staking that and i'm you know not complaining but still waiting on flare and look even more so than flare still waiting on this lawsuit to be sorted one way or the other they give them a big fine they win the case they lose the case you know whatever it may be and i'm talking about uh, that going either way you know sec winning losing just fining or you know ripple winning losing fine or getting a fine whatever it may be it'd be nice for it to come to an end sometime soon all right some australian news because i'm australian and for my australian audience crypto is driven by extraordinary consumer and investor demand says the australian regulator so this is the chairman of the australian securities and investments commission he says the implications for consumers are potentially huge now he does go on to say there's a lot of risks and things still out there but this space is getting regulated and the gains i mean they're, they're just things that you can't find anywhere else you cannot take your money 
uh, put it into really anything else and 10x your money in a matter of, you know, a year. Uh, or, well, I won't say you can't because you can buy stocks that do that, but it's very uh, unlikely. Whereas in crypto, that is, you know, there's tons of projects that have done that and some. So something to consider. And last but not least, again, the superannuations, 401ks and all that are coming. So Australia's REST Super Retirement Fund to invest in crypto for its 1.8 million users or its 1.8 million members. Now, this is the interesting part. The fund has more than $46.8 billion dollars worth of assets under man management. That's billion, not million. If they were to allocate just 1% of their uh, assets under management to crypto, that's $46.8 million that are going into crypto. Now that doesn't sound like a lot really in the grand scheme of things, but that's if they do 1%. My gut feeling says they're probably gonna go something more like maybe 3%, possibly even 4%. So now, that really starts to add up. That is, you know, possibly, you know, well over a hundred million dollars that goes in. And again, it will just continue to grow. This is one little fund that is doing it. There's other funds in Australia that have spoken about it but haven't done it yet. And again, this is a little fund in Australia. 46 point billion is not really that much compared to some of the bigger ones overseas. They are coming. That big institutional money, believe it or not, isn't actually here yet. It's coming. This is the first few dribs and drabs of institutional money. The big institutional money, again, you know, big retirement funds and things like that. And some have already came and dipped their toes in, but none have really come in and put large amounts of money, let alone the bulk of all of them coming and putting in just a little bit of money. So you are early, you're before half these big funds and big businesses. And once this really starts to kick off and gets more widely adopted and we have clear regulation, this space will explode and get bigger and bigger. All right, quick one for me. That's it. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Yeah, you know, we're kind of here and there with being on the great gain train at the moment. But if you are, congratulations to you. And I'll see you next time.